Welcome guys, patch 25 is bringing some much needed changes to the loot of the candy and I'm overall pleased, but there are some problems too. And in this video, I'll be giving my perspective on the new Vikendi loot. The developers want Vikendi to be different from the other maps in terms of the items you find. And they've decided that they want it to be a close to medium range map with a focus on SMGs. I just wish that they talk with the map designers before making a decision like this. Because the map is a sniper's paradise with beautiful open areas, with how easy it is to spot enemies far away due to the high contrast on snow, with how tall rocks are placed around the landscape, making them perfect sniper spots for that long range combat. A large amount of feedback has been surrounding exactly this, where many players have been asking for slightly more DMRs and snipers. From my impression, the community does not want a large increase, but merely a slight increase to make it a bit easier to find these long-range weapons. But what has happened is this. Assault rifle drop rate has been increased by 20%. The Tommy gun specifically will now drop 52% less. But in return, we've got a new SMG, the Bison. And a fair guess is that that will make up for the lack of Tommy guns, so the overall SMG amount will be the same. But then, DMRs have been reduced by 16%. It makes sense to increase assault rifles a bit, as it will be more likely to find one early game. And I like this, because then I will have to fight with Uzi's early game less often even though the Uzi balance, for some strange reason, has not been touched at all. But the DMR reduction is something I am completely baffled by, as I feel like it goes in the opposite direction of what the majority of the community wants. The reason for the reduction in DMRs is that it is the most powerful weapon class, and because DMRs have, quote, high utility value on the wide open snow plains of the candy. So they understand that the map speaks to long range combat. And because they insist on keeping it close to medium range, the DMR spawn rate is getting reduced. DMRs will still be the overall strongest weapon class for long range combat on the candy. But now you'll just have a harder time finding them, meaning more RNG. Luck will be a more deciding factor on who gets the advantage in a gunfight opposed to the skill of the player. I strongly disagree with this change sniper rifle drop rate remains the same. They also say they have received feedback to increase high-powered scopes, meaning the 6 and the 8x scopes, but again, this will enable long-range combat, so that won't happen. Instead, they have increased 4x scopes, but to be fair, you can still fight long-range with a 4x, it's just a bit harder, so whatever. Lucky if you find a 6 or 8x, and too bad if you fight one that has it and you don't. Next to level 3 helmets and armor. I think we were all surprised by this sudden re-implementation of level 3 helmets as a world spawn. And while I have a clear feeling that the majority of the community did not like this change, it has apparently been met with mixed feedback. For this reason, they are reducing the amount of level 3 helmets by 49% and also level 3 armor, which was highly common, has been reduced by 36%. This is an improvement, I think as a bolt-action sniper rifle will now be a more viable choice. But this unfortunately also just increases the luck factor even more. If you got super lucky, found full level 3 armor and a DMR with a 6x scope, and you go up against a less fortunate enemy who found an assault rifle with a 4x and level 2 armor, then you have a huge advantage. Finally, backpacks have been increased by 11% and a much welcome reduction to sniper rifle attachments by 40% has also been made. So while I understand that they want a map where we fight with SMGs and ARs, I don't understand why that map has to be the candy. The weapon meta should in my opinion be a result of the design of the map and the power balance of the weapons and not the drop rate of the weapons. Instead of forcing us to play with certain weapons, motivate us to choose them instead by designing the map and weapons so we choose them naturally. I also perfectly understand that PUBG has always been RNG and luck based ever since the game got released. Players who got more lucky finding better loot than others have always had an advantage. 
The problem comes when you make certain powerful items too rare though, because the more you do this, the worse the factor of luck gets. Imagine a map with only pistols and then 15 assault rifles spawned over the map. This would be all about just finding an assault rifle, otherwise you were in a lot of trouble. You could still win with your pistol, but it would be a pain. This is of course an extreme example, but perhaps it makes it easier to understand how powerful rare weapons impact the gameplay. Despite my concerns about how loot is balanced, I am happy to see that PUBG Corp is willing to balance it, and I hope we're going to see loot balancing done to Erangel 2, as I know almost no players who wouldn't appreciate slightly more loot on that map. Vikendi is still my favorite map, and perhaps that's why I care so much. I want the map to be the best it can be. Now that's all I had for this video. I hope you found it interesting and if you did, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys next time.